Then for dessert, we're gonna have baked apple pie that I made. Oh, Tamara, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're gonna make apple pie. Hello. Hey, girlfriend. Hi, to be here. Would you like a latte? I would. Do you have a makeup? No. So this is the best latte, the cheapest latte. That itself is probably about 40 or 50 cent latte. Oh, I use these things. These okay. are like Turkish, um, I've seen those. Yeah, they're like Turkish coffee makers. This one I've used so much, the handle has burnt off. But we still use it. Right. Because until it's crumbled on the ground, or black as night, it's gonna be used. But this is a trick. You've gotta put water at the right level, because if you don't, you're gonna have a watery latte. All right. You want it really rich, with the essence of the coffee and it's kind of even kind of viscosity that's a little thick. So it has a little line, but the line's way up here. If you make it like that, it's way diluted. If you like just straight coffee, strong coffee, you can do it that way. But for me, I want a latte. So I go here, just so you know. There's the line. Mm -hmm. I need to hear. Okay, like I an espresso. Like, that's what you need. You need a shot. Okay, because we're making lattes. So you want it really thick. So it's half to two thirds mm -hmm. is what you want for your water. <sighs> Oh, okay. Got the right amount. Oh, well, not too much. Hello, See, hello, I, people. I overdid it. It's too much. <laughs> now look, I said a half to two thirds. She's got it three quarters. Too much. I'm, I'm not a number person. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna water the plant. I hate to waste water. I'm gonna water the plant. <laughs> the little basil plant. Okay, I think that means so that's it. better, right? No, no, that's a half. It's gotta be a uh, little, just like two tablespoons more. No more. Oh, add. <sighs> okay, let me see. Stop. That's perfect. Yay! Okay, now, put a little gizmo in there. Gizmo. Okay. Which, which may be called coffee strainer. <laughs> I don't know. So, and then now we're going to get your milk going because it takes two minutes. Every cup of milk in the microwave is exactly two minutes. You don't want it to boil. You want it just to be almost to the boil. I buy my beans in a very inexpensive place and I, I get the vanilla nut. I grind them myself, shove it in, go bing! Do not pack. Okay, that's a good question. The reason you do not pack is this. If you the pack it, then the water doesn't have any room to get over all those little granules and it's not as rich and thick. Okay. That's the secret. And also you save money. Oh, and I think so you have the best coffee house in town. Oh. Okay. Wait, this guy now goes on any burner. So we'll give that a couple minutes and then in the meantime we're going to make a pie. Okay. Okay, pie the pie. Hey. Oh, here's your apples. Why are mine small and yours are this Why? What? How did I get the small one? Because when we were at Farmer's Market, I, I remember! And I like to get the big fat ones because that's less peeling for me. So when we were Yes, but you said you like the big ones because it's less work, and so why did you give me the little ones? Because I picked the fatties out, and you were picking the pretty ones out. Oh, come on! <laughs> you got a peel at your pick system. It is peeler, kind of. Okay. I've got a really good trick for cutting apples. You have to watch this because you're making an apple pie. You're not making a tart where every little slice is gonna be looked at by the world. If you're making a pie, it's gonna get all mushed up and all brown, so you just doesn't matter how to cut it. I cut it the fastest way I can, which is taking the side off like that, and then bing, 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 really fast, because that's it, that's all we need. Okay, how many I, apples You chop the next one to um, make an apple Let's pie. See. She don't know. No, she didn't listen. What? Tamara. Yeah, say it again. Oh, oh my God. Because I was okay. peeling. Let's time her doing it this way. Let's okay. see. Do it. Okay. Do it. Oh, look at her. Look at her. I have a system. Let's see she can cut herself. This is the unsafe way of doing it. I think I need a latte. <laughs> Where's my latte? Oh, don't touch. All right, I know. You'll burn yourself. So you froth. 
to your process. <laughs> okay, let's see what we go. There we go. So that. that's the perfect amount. There we go. Yeah, so would nice. you like sugar, sweetheart? I like the fake sugar. Okay. No judgment here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna use this kind of a crust because oh, yeah. it's done. But yeah. I want to show you, hello, manufacturers of these kind of crusts. You're missing it by one inch. Drives me insane. I'm gonna prove it to you too. Check this out. Now I've got a complaint to register. <laughs> I, I'm really telling you the truth. This is this bothers me. Okay, this has been the bane of my making pies. For, I can't tell you. Okay, so it's been sitting on the counter for 15 minutes. It's got to soften up. That's fine. I don't mind that. I can plan ahead. This is a normal nine-inch pie pan. Okay. I use the dark one. This is a homemade one because it's. The heat on it makes the crust a little more crispy because oh. it has a dark color. And it's beautiful to serve. It's nice to have a real piece of art in your um, on your table because I'm an artist. Yeah, I like artsy things. Okay, but let me tell you, if I put my little apples in there, see, it does not cover the, 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 the thing. I want a fluted edge, but how can I do that when a thing doesn't even come up and out? Mm -hmm. It needs to be one inch longer. I'm, I'm, you know, this is so. I have to spend time doing this trick. But I'm not happy about this. Over my board, make a big mess that I have to clean up. Not happy, not happy, not happy, not happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's apparent. Yeah. So we go like this. I have to get a rolling pin that I have to clean up. Not happy, not happy. Okay. Well, I have to make it a little bigger. I mean, but look it. This is gonna take me three seconds. Now it's bigger. Shove it into here. Alright. Maybe you'll be heard and they'll come up. Maybe I'll be heard. Voice. They need to hear me. Please hear me. Okay, so it's it's not gonna be I like the little fluted edges. What? I think it's, it's pretty. It's not done yet. But I, I like when I see yeah, that. Right. So I can right. care less what it looks like. I care what it tastes like. I know you're supposed to care about what it looks like, but homemade always looks good. So imperfections in cooking always look good. I think so too. So I like a big old fat pie. I like it just a heap with the apples, because they always cook down. People are always kind of avoiding the crust because the crust is maybe less healthy than the cooked apples. Right. So they always appreciate that you have extra fruit in there because they don't feel so guilty. It's yeah. like, well, I'm just eating fruit. Exactly. <laughs> what variety of apples are best for baking? The best variety is the least expensive. Oh. Listen, you're gonna dress it with sugar. Anything homemade is better than not homemade. Mm -hmm. That's really the key to cooking. Even if you do a sloppy job, you do a quick job, if it comes out of the kitchen that day, it is light years beyond anything you can buy. And if you can't afford to buy the expensive apples, buy the inexpensive apples, and it's still fantastic. That's so awesome. that's my trick. I'm an economist. Okay, you're gonna do three quarter cup sugar. Brown or white? <laughs> Both. Oh, am I doing right here? There, there's a In. In. Okay, got it. Okay, now like maybe two tablespoons of flour because it's got to bind. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, I like cinnamon. Yeah, now toss like a salad. Oh, like a salad. This is so much fun. I've never ever made a homemade apple pie. Really? This always seemed too overwhelming, so this is not. No, now I throw it in the pot. Good enough. We're done? Done. Okay. Get it in this. I'm just dump. We're just like dump. This. Okay, dump. We're gonna dump. We're dumping. Dump, dump, dump. But if it goes on the floor, I just not my fault. Yeah. Here, I'll try to get the shield. Okay, good. Good. I overpromise. It doesn't have enough apples. I estimated. I'm gonna put some more in there. Okay. You know what? We don't even have to mix it. We'll just go like that. You know, it's good enough. I like that. I like it's how fine. it's not, not perfect. Perfect. Okay, so okay, you know, lay it on. Top. Okay, how comfortable are you? Careful, careful. Oh, comfortable, zero. Okay, now as you're doing it, you're laying it on top. You're unrolling it, exactly. You're lining it up, lay it on top. You're gonna take that half, I'm gonna take this half. Okay. And we pinch it so you can roll it in as you're doing it. Okay, and then we need to hold, I'm just gonna use the scissors because they're right here fast. On my 350 oven, it takes at least an hour and a half or two hours to have a golden crust. Okay. And that's so much moisture in that crust makes it so it's very hard for the bottom crust to get crunchy. So by going two hours in here, it doesn't overcook the top and the bottom gets cooked at 350. So I hope you make your own apple pie because it is just that easy and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, Tamara, here's your latte. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.
choose. <laughs> Good job. Awesome. I so appreciate it. Your first apple pie. Mm -hmm. We're going to brag about it tonight in our class. Aww. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs>